In this one, we are going to talk about Tailwind CSS scrolls. Now, we are going to have two different projects. One is going to be horizontal snapping, scrolling and snapping, and the other one is going to be vertical. For horizontal, this is the preview. So you could either use the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard to go from one image to the next image. And the snap point is the center of the image, as the line indicates. Or we could just leave, for example, the scroll bar right here, and it's going to snap to the center of the image. And for vertical scrolling, we have this example. Again, we could use uh, the up and down arrows of the keyboard to go to the next image, and we are going to snap to the center of the image. To get started, let's generate the simple HTML5 boilerplate and insert the Tailwind CSS CDN and provide the title for the project. Uh, this one says index hyphen X because in this one, we just talk about the horizontal uh, or the X scrolling. And in the second part of the video, we're gonna talk about the Y. The first thing that I'm going to create is uh, some utility classes for the body element like the a background color, a height of 100 VH, and a display of flex, just to make sure all the items are in the center, horizontally and vertically. And then we are going to create the snapping line, that white line that you saw, that is going to have a class of absolute. Uh, the height is going to be 100%, the width is gonna be four pixels, background white, and the Z index is 10, so it's on the other elements, like it's on top of the other elements. Then I'm going to provide like a little bit of text just to indicate that there is a snapping point. And for that one, I'm going to do the same Z index position absolute. Uh, it's going to go from the bottom by a dimension of six or 24 pixels. Uh, this is going to be 50% from the left, two by four and margin right, uh, margin left is going to be four pixels. This div is going to have a background of slate 800. The text is going to go white. I'm going to apply some border radius on it. The amount for which is four pixels. Uh, the padding for left and right is going to be 16 pixels and the padding for top and bottom is going to be eight pixels. This is our current progress. Let's move forward. Uh, next up, what I would like to do is create the div that is going to contain all of our images. And let me just come down a little bit. For this one, I'm going to provide a position relative, a height of 100%. Um, this is going to be a flex container. The gap is going to be 24 pixels for row and for column. And I'm going to the uh, I'm going to provide the overflow as auto, so we end up with that scroll bar, but along the x-axis, since we just talked about that in here. Now. Uh, in our uh, final product, what we have before the images and after the images, we have a little bit of free space. Uh, that's just so we can see the progress or the scroll snapping better. So I'm going to provide three divs in here. Uh, the divs are going to have, uh, all three of them, they're going to have a width of 40 or 160 pixels. Uh, we are going to snap to the center of the di these divs and center to the center of the images and the flex shrink is going to be zero. And within this div, I'm going to create another one and I'm going to provide it with a flex shrink of zero. And the width for that is going to be 48 or 192 pixels. Now that I've created the first one, I'm going to copy this two more times. This is second and this is the third one. So we end up with three divs. Let's move forward and now it's time to insert our images. I'm going to create a figure element. The figure element is going to have a width of 96 or 384 pixels. We are going to snap to the center of the images and the shrink is going to be zero. I'm going to insert the images. The first one is going to be fruit and the class is going to be 100% for the width, 100% for the height. Uh, we are going to maintain the aspect ratio with the object cover and we are going to round the corners. We have several images in this project, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste the rest of the classes. So we have the second image and then we have the third one. Their dimensions, all of their classes are the same, just the actual content is different. Before the images, we have a little bit of space and after the images, we do have those. So I'm going to provide those space here as well. It's the same divs, the same dimension, the same classes, just I'm going to provide three of them here and I'm going to save the changes. 
Let's jump into the browser to see the difference. Here we are. To provide snapping, we need to make sure that we target the container for all of the divs and all of the images. And after the padding bottom, I am going to insert a snap X. This is going to determine uh, in which axis the snapping is going to occur. And there are two main behaviors when it comes to snapping. We have snap mandatory where wherever we leave off the scroll or the scroll bar, it's going to snap to the center of the image. If I leave it right here, it's going to snap to the center of the image. If I leave it here, it's even there, it's going to snap to the center of the image. There we go. We could go with the keyboard arrows as well. There we go. With just one tap, you can go to the center of the next image. And if I provide snap proximity, this is going to snap to the center of the image whenever it's in the proximity. So if I try to use the key keyboard arrows, you can see I'm tapping several times and it's not snapping because as uh, until it gets to the proximity of the center, it's not going to snap. But with mandatory, with just one tap, we can snap to the center of the image. But I'm going to change it to snap mandatory because the behavior is more reliable. I can uh, anticipate what is going to happen next. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the index Y file. In here, I've already applied all of the utility classes. Behavior of the snap is going to be mandatory for the Y axis as well. But instead of snap X, we are going to say snap Y. And instead of all of the widths, we're going to have heights. And here is the final result. I could scroll down and it's going to snap to the center of the image. Or I could use the keyboard shortcuts and it's going to snap to the center of the image in that scenario as well. And with this, both of the projects come to an end. See you in the next one.